gonna show you how to use um, enamel um, to um, add kind of an embellishment and embossing look to metal. Um, and then we're gonna create um, a bracelet with this. So what I'm gonna do to start is I'm gonna take um, some, this is actual an enamel marker um, and it's used for stamp making, but the nice thing about this is it dries slow. Um, so it allows the um, ink or it allows the enamel to stick to it. So I'm going to completely cover my little, this is basically a washer. It's a rose gold color. I cover that. I'm going to sprinkle my enamel and I'll include a link of where you can buy this enamel. Sprinkling it onto this. Um, and then I'm going to use a heat gun um, to, and you could use it, um, a hair dryer on a high setting. But I'm going to um, apply heat from underneath the enamel underneath the washer or your metal piece here to melt the enamel. So I turned it on low at first and now Potter here. The more I go, the more it's going to melt into place. So once you've heated from the bottom, you can go on the top. I'm going to set this down and reposition my pliers here. You definitely don't want to pick this up um, with your fingers unless you have heat proof gloves on, um, which my students will use when they're doing this. So now I'm just heating the area where the pliers were before. I can sprinkle just a tiny bit more in that spot to cover up that kind of white area where the pliers were. And there are a whole bunch of different um, colors of this. So just depending on the look you're going for, this is obviously more of a bluish turquoise color. the enamel is melted now um, I'm gonna let it cool down and then from here we're going to assemble it we're going to use some suede cord and attach it on each side to make it into a bracelet. so now that my enamel is dry um, and cooled down I'm going to connect some of this suede cord on each side in order to create a bracelet so um, to do this, what I'm gonna do is cut down a piece um, that I think will be long enough for, or, or more than long enough for my wrist here. Um, so this is about seven inches, I would say. I'm gonna fold it in half. And what I'm gonna do is um, loop it. So I, I folded it in half. I'm gonna take the loop and put it through here. Um, actually, I'm gonna go from the top in like this. And then I'm going to take my two ends and go back through it. So basically I'm making a knot just like this. 
I'm gonna make sure that my cord isn't tangled. Okay, I pulled that tight. Now I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So I'm gonna cut a section. And as always, I'll include links to where you can purchase the suede. And this is just, like I said, just a washer. You can use a metal ring um, that you either cut yourself or if you wanted to, um, you can buy just metal rings as well that aren't specifically washers, but we use these for like metal stamping. They work well. So again, I'm gonna tuck it through there, trying to make sure that everything is not twisted. Pull it tight. You could use um, waxed or cotton cord, like a two millimeter cord would work well for this um, also, if you don't want it to be so big. Um, so now that I have this part done, I need to finish my ends. So right now it's obviously it's a little bit too long. Um, so I'm going to trim off a little bit on each side here. And the same on this one. And the average wrist size is about six to seven-ish inches. Obviously that varies greatly. Um, that's just kind of a gauge there. So I've got it trimmed. I'm going to finish the ends with these cord crimps cord clasp, cord end. There's a million different names, just depends on where you buy them from. Again, I'll include a link so you can see where those are. Um, but the nice thing with these, these are set, so they already come complete with a jump ring and a clasp on them. Um, so the way this works, very simple. I'm going to put both of my pieces of suede, the end, into this here, it has a little opening. And then I'm gonna take my pliers and close it up like that. So that it stays. What you don't want is what I just did and where you pull it right back out. Um, <clears throat> you can glue these as well, just to make sure that they're secure nice thing is like what just happened there. Unlike like a crimp bead where you can't recrimp it, um, you can just open this back up and close it again. So again, if you wanted to, um, you can certainly glue it into place. I'm just going to pinch it down really well to make sure that it's secure. side and now this side there we go kind of like almost folding them over so now that is secure I'm gonna do this side as well and these are really um, you can see how quick that was to create not difficult at all pretty simple stuff Again, pinch this side down, then this side to make sure that it's really secure. Like that. And then you can see the completed bracelet. Really easy, super cute. Um, Again, depending on the colors that you choose, you could have a lot of variety with this. So that is the enamel bracelet. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure you stay connected with Urban Rhino on social media. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment below, and of course, subscribe to our channel.